Hey, this is Ghost Dad for Pro Audio Star. I'm hanging out by the Novation products today with Brandon Carroll, who's a composer and keyboard player, and also the field specialist for Novation products. We're gonna look at the Nocturne series from Novation. We thought we'd get an in-depth look with somebody who can really show us how to take full advantage of the mapping capabilities of it using AutoMap. Let's grab one and head over to Wink Sound Studios to take an in-depth look. We made it over to Wink Sound Studios with Brandon, who's here to show us a little bit more about the Nocturne 49. Brandon, can you break down the layout of this keyboard for us? Sure thing. Right here on the top, we have eight LED rotary encoders. These knobs are also touch sensitive. Very cool feature. Underneath these knobs, we also have assignable buttons. These all light up, so it's great for in the dark. And then you'll see a speed dial knob over here, and this has a line that kind of follows you across the whole auto map section. And right beneath here, we have your octaves and your transport section. Eight velocity sensitive drum pads. Over on this side, standard pitch and mod wheel. On the back here, we have a USB connection. We also have a sustain pedal input and a expression pedal input. So that's what we have here on the Nocturne 49 note keyboard. So Brandon, I heard you talk about AutoMap a little bit. Can you tell us exactly what AutoMap is and how it works? What AutoMap is, is it's software that really allows the keyboard to properly communicate with any audio production software you're using. It's got a very easy to use interface, and right after you install it, it's gonna go into your computer, it's gonna see every plugin that you have, and it's gonna have templates for each of those plugins. This takes care of that. Whether you're using Reason, Cubase, Logic, Ableton Live, Pro Tools, AutoMap goes into all that software and maps this stuff out for you. You can really focus on being creative, which is really the most important part. Can we see how that works with Logic? So right here I have a session open. When I open the ESX24, AutoMap reflects all of ESX24's parameters on AutoMap screen. So now you can see what each of these knobs are assigned to. If you look at the AutoMap screen, you, I can see my first knob is the voices. I can hit play here just with my transport section. So you can see the tune knob parameter is being reflected. And now what I want to do is go into this bass sound that I had, okay, the ESP. This knob right now, AutoMap says, is controlling the triangle waveform of the bass. I want this knob to do a filter. If I just click on learn, all I have to do now is just move whatever parameter, in this case being the filter, that I want to assign it to. Now that I've moved it, I touch this knob, and now this knob takes control over the filter. So it used to be doing one parameter, now it's doing the one that I wanted it to. Okay, so that's how easy it is to just assign something. Thanks again, Brandon, for showing us the Nocturne 49. It looks like a great keyboard for anyone looking to get into production with its auto map features. It lets you get hands-on with your software quickly and easily. In the Nocturne series, you have the 49 as well as the 25, which is the smaller version. It's really portable, easy to fit in your bag, produce on the road, or take to a gig. For more information on Novation products, be sure to check out ProAudioStar.com. You can check out our blog, there's lots of cool content there. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook to stay up to date with deals on Novation products and other gear. You can also give us a call or chat us on our website for the best prices on studio gear anywhere on the internet. That's all at ProAudioStar.com. <laughs>